right hey guys and welcome to the video so here today hopefully we'll be able to help you out with maybe some issues you may be experiencing on your modded switch this is going to focus on people who primarily use cosmos and maybe you updated your firmware to the more current firmware which as of this video is 9.2 and or you may have updated your cosmos and then after you did either one of those two things or both you may be experiencing certain issues like not being able to get into your homebrew menu maybe the games that you have installed were working before but now they don't work and you're getting error or maybe a corruption message and they're not launching it's also possible that some games are working fine but some are not so hopefully we'll get all of that sorted here this is not going to show you how to jailbreak a switch it's assumed that you already know how to do that you know how to launch into custom firmware and that you know your way around a modded system so with that let's go ahead and cover a couple of other things all right so some of the problems you may be experiencing for example could be that you can't get into your homebrew menu it's possible that you're trying to get into the full mode of your homebrew menu by holding down the R shoulder button and pressing A on an installed game, but it doesn't take you there and it doesn't work. It's possible also that you may be able to get into your homebrew menu, but only via the album, which is applet mode. It's also possible that maybe you cannot get into your homebrew menu at all, not through the uh, game like full mode and also not through applet mode through the album. So the homebrew menu is not launching at all. Another issue is that your games may not be working anymore when they were working fine before you click on one and you get the gray screen with a message that gives you an error saying that, you know, the software doesn't function properly or cannot be launched or whatever. You also may be getting a message of corruption saying that the software is corrupt or the file is corrupt. It's possible that some of your games are not working and others are working. So when we get done here today, hopefully everything will be back to normal. All the homebrews will be working, homebrew menu working and the games working as well. All right, so next, for the best results, it is highly recommended that you be on the most current firmware, which as of right now is 9.2. You can do this either by going through the system settings and doing it that way. Of course, it runs a small chance of you possibly getting your system banned. It also burns the fuses, which means that you will not be able to downgrade. I personally don't care. My switch is always going to be moving forward and going up. I'm never going to downgrade. But that's up to you. If you don't want to burn the fuses um, or you're a little worried about getting banned, then you could do it manually using Choi De Jour NX. Stetics does a great job here of showing you how to do it. You will need a PC, but he's very thorough. The tutorial is 10 minutes long, and of course, the process is going to take longer than doing it the normal way. I'll put a link in the description here. But moving forward from this point on, it is assumed that everyone is on the current firmware, which right now is 9.2, and we'll be using Cosmos. So let's go to that. All right, so next we're going to get the latest Cosmos, which as of right now is 15.3 and it works great with 9.2 firmware. Make sure you come here and grab the um, latest zip file, which is the Cosmos 15.3 zip and download that. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then you need to come here to the um, SIG patches. When you click on that, you're brought here. The zip that you need is this one right here. Cosmos patches 3, 15, 20, 20, boot config, tinfoil V8 plus. Oh, geez, it felt like I just ran a marathon. Anyway, that's the zip file you need. So make sure that you download that, right? And if you use tinfoil, Come here and grab the latest version from down at the bottom, which as of right now, it's 8.10. Just grab the NRO file, but you don't have to use tinfoil to install your games. You can use whatever it is you want, Goalie or A1 installer or anything else. 
All right, so now I have my SD card on my PC. You don't have to use a PC. You can put your SD card into your smart device or however it is that you um, get the files onto your car. We're just going to be deleting and copy and pasting so you don't need a, a PC for that, but I'm using mine here. Now, don't put the cart ahead of the horse. Some of you may know or I think you know what you need to do, but let me clarify some important things. Let's go into the Cosmos zip file. If you are a 9.2, but you came from a firmware that is lower than 9.0, let's say you were on 7.0 or 8 point whatever. If you came from a firmware lower than 9.0, it is highly recommended that on your SD card, you delete the folders and the files that the um, uh, folder and files that are in the Cosmos zip will be replacing. So for example, you look at the Cosmos zip file and we go here to the SD card and I would be deleting atmosphere, bootloader, config, um, sept, the homebrew menu, and my Hecate. You do not need to delete the switch. You don't need to delete any other folders, especially the Nintendo one. Make sure that one gets left behind. If you made like an NSP folder, you can leave that. A ROMs folder, you can leave that behind. The Switch one, you leave behind. Basically, you want to delete all of these and then copy and paste all of these over. If you came from 9.0 or 9.1, you don't need to delete. All you need to do is just highlight everything and then copy and paste it over. So depending on where you came from, that decides what you're going to do here. Now I came from 9.1 to 9.2. So in my case, I only need to copy and paste things over. If you are prompted to replace or overwrite files, just hit yes or okay. All right, so now we're done with the Cosmos zip. Let's go ahead and close that. Now I have to, since I use the R4S dongle, I have to rename my Hecate bin file into payload.bin, but that's just me. That's how I boot into Hecate because I use that dongle. You may not have to do that. It just depends however it is you boot into Hecate. So I had a payload bin file here. I already deleted it. Let me go ahead and rename this new one payload.bin. There we go. So the next thing is we are going to go into the Cosmos SIG patches. Everyone will do the same thing here. You will just go ahead, highlight these two files and paste them over. If you are asked to overwrite or replace, just hit yes. Okay. So as you can see, mine did not say so, which is good. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now we will go into tinfoil if you use that. And all you need to do is just copy and paste the switch folder over. And once you do that, we are all set to go. So at this point, everyone should be at 9.2 firmware. We should have the new Cosmos with the SIG patches completely installed on our SD card. At this point, go ahead, put your SD card back into your switch, boot up however it is that you normally boot up into Hecate and load um, Cosmos. And let's go into our CFW and I'll meet you at the home screen. All right, so now we are here at the switch. Let's head on over to our settings and let's scroll all the way down here. I wanna make sure that we are in atmosphere, which we are, you can see right here, we're on 9.2 and atmosphere 10.4, uh, so that's good. Let's go ahead and go into the album and make sure we can get into homebrew menu applet mode, which we can, so that's good. Let's get out of this, all right? And now let's go ahead, hold down the R shoulder button. Let's press A while we're holding it down. Keep holding it, press A again. And we're going to keep holding R and there we go. We can now boot into homebrew menu full mode. So that's working great. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Okay. And let's just boot into the game. So now I will select the game, but I won't hold R and it should boot into the game. We should get no messages. And there we go. It's booting into the game. I'm not getting the message. So at this point, everything should be good to go if for some reason you though are still having a problem with your games if your games um, are still giving you the error or corruption or whatever thing then we need to go to another step for those of you who this has fixed the problem for if your games are working and everything is working again before you go 
make sure you hit that like button. It supports the channel, keeps me motivated to keep bringing you all kinds of content like this. For those of you who are still experiencing a problem with the games, let's go to the next step. Okay, so if you are continuing to have those problems with the games, with the corruption error message, or just the error message that's you know telling you that the software can be launched or whatever, unfortunately, you will have to delete the games that are giving you problems. We need to remove the unused tickets, and then you have to reinstall the games. So you'll need to go into each one, You know, make sure you hit that plus button, go to manage software, and then delete the software. This will delete the installed game, as well as any updates and DLC. It will not delete NSP files or your XCI files or anything like that, just the installed game. Then after you've deleted all the games that are causing you problems, go into homebrew menu full mode. And then we need to go into gold leaf, which as of right now is 0.8.0. Then you're going to go into manage console contents. And then you need to scroll down to unused tickets and you will delete these unused tickets. Just hit A, then hit remove, and then hit yes. And just keep doing that till you're down to none. Remember, only do this after you deleted the games that are giving you problems. Then once you've done that, just go ahead and reinstall the game by however method it is that you do it, either through Tinfoil, AWU installer, or whatever other installer. And that's pretty much it your games from that point forward should be working just fine. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you found anything here helpful or useful and this helped to fix your problems, make absolutely sure that you hit that like button because that is the best way to show your support. And it keeps me motivated to keep bringing you all kinds of content on this channel. I appreciate you guys watching. Be careful out there, be safe but have fun and we will see you on the next one.